It's going to get way worse this afternoon, and it's essentially going to be a washout through Friday morning. Today, we're just looking at widespread storms arriving this afternoon. Tomorrow, a washout with windy conditions. Friday morning, a washout with very windy conditions. By Friday afternoon, we're drying out, and the weekend looks a lot better. Here's the latest in from the National Hurricane on uh, National Hurricane Center on Helene. It's a tropical storm. It's moving very close to Cancun right now. Uh, our next update's in at 11. This storm is only five miles from being uh, a category one hurricane. So I expect it to reach hurricane strength later today. Still projected to rapidly intensify by tomorrow afternoon. This thing's going to be moving quickly, guys. It's likely to make landfall tomorrow evening to the east of Panama City and Destin. Those very highly vacation spots may dodge a bullet from this storm. But Tallahassee and Florida State may take a direct hit. If you have family, if you have kids that are in Florida State, they need to get out, okay? They need to leave and go west or east. Uh, Tampa's going to get hurricane force winds. The wind field from this storm extends way far out from the storm center, and that means that right here in North Georgia, we're likely to see winds that we do not experience often. This thing projected to move over us early on Friday as a tropical storm. We do not see that frequently, so we're going to see winds up to 70 miles per hour on Friday morning. That will cause a concern for widespread power outages. Here's your first alert radar right now. Some pretty heavy showers falling from Dallas to Kennesaw up through Cobb County coming, seeing a little bit of light rain, but that's nothing compared to what's on the way. Here's that heavy rain off in Alabama and some thunder that will arrive later on this afternoon and it will bring us a flash flood threat starting today. You can see Metro Atlanta areas east have a 40% chance of flash flooding today. That is high tomorrow, even higher guys. It's going to be a washout, OK? So you have a few hours to get the rest of your chores done. By 6 p.m., it is raining and storming. We can't rule out a few strong storms, and that rain will continue pretty much over the next 36 hours constantly. 6 p.m., stopping the clock for you. East Georgia may remain dry through sunset, but Atlanta and areas west are going to see heavy rain and isolated strong storms. The severe threat diminishes overnight, but the flash flood threat will increase. A washout tomorrow morning, torrential rains through the entire day tomorrow. So it is going to be very, very wet tomorrow. On Friday morning, that's when the center of the storm moves over us uh, before sunrise. You can see a defined eye here. So Friday before sunrise, that's when the wind will be the strongest. That's when the rain will be the heaviest. That rain will move out by midday on Friday, and we will see uh, conditions improve pretty quickly by Friday afternoon. Guys, I have not seen rainfall totals like this more than a handful of times, and I've been working in Atlanta almost a decade. We're talking six to 12 inches of rain. I know that it is, we're in a drought, that the lakes are low, the creeks are low, it doesn't matter. When you get this much rain in such a short period of time, we're certainly going to see flash flooding. In addition to that, the ground's gonna be really saturated when the wind is the heaviest uh, overnight Thursday into Friday. We're looking at gusts, especially from Atlanta off to the east, between 40 to 60 miles per hour, that is absolutely going to bring down trees. And even after the rain moves out on Friday, that wind stays very breezy. So even after the storms end, we could see additional power outages. I do think many of you will lose power on Friday. It's something you need to prepare for. Some of us could even head into the weekend without any power. The good news is we will see drastic improvements this weekend. The Alabama Georgia game. I'm getting a lot of questions on that. Completely good to go. It will be dry over there in Tuscaloosa, and it looks really nice as we head into next weekend. This is going to be a major storm system that's going to have a big impact here in North Georgia, so please prepare accordingly.